Blessed, good morning, all of my viewers, them, all of my subs, them. welcome back to JNN News Channel, one of the artists news channel out there will bring you all news which is factually, which is true. Some of you are my sub, we give you the breaking, we give you it from locally, we give you internationally, we give you it all around my viewers and my sub. So, Continue to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. You know it go already, my viewers and my sub. Watch up the ads them. So this morning's topic, we are going to go over to Portmore. First and foremost, we are going over to Portmore. So, salesman in Portmore, municipal, employee, grant hill bail and armor charge. Two individuals who were charged earlier this month in connection with the seizure of over 150 rounds of ammunition in St. Catherine were offered bail when they appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court last week. Horace, a 33-year-old salesman of Cumberland, Portmore, in St. Catherine, was offered bail in the sum of 500000 and a charge of illegal possession of ammunition. His co-accused 62-year-old Shirley Leng, a supervisor employed to the Portmore Municipal Corporation, was granted 150000 bail and a small and a similar charge. Prior to the bail being offered to Lane, her lawyer, argued that the police investigator should not have charged her as Pentitude was her tenant. The case was transferred to the gun section of the Supreme Court for hearing on November the 26th. Reports are that the man was apprehended in Taz Meadows in the old capital of Spanish Town. On Wednesday, November the 3rd, he was allegedly found in possession of around 50 rounds of ammunition. A subsequent search of his house in Cumberland resulted in the alleged seizure of another additional 100 rounds of ammo. By the law enforcers, Leng, who was allegedly at the premises, was detained. The police indicated last week that they were conducting a further probe to determine whether he is a major supplier of guns and ammo to the criminal elements right across St. Catherine. Some of you as I'm a sub, what do you think about that one here? Yeah? What do you think about, you know, wonder if him get bail too quick or the bail amount to him get too small or what? My viewers and my sub, leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. Make you know what you not think. Be a sub of what? Me just read. Give you your information. What you think? If you don't want to leave a comment, you can leave the flag from which you want to watch the channel from. And remember, my viewers and my sub, road to 3k subscribers. So, subscribe to the channel quick and fast. Another teenager charge for housebreaking and larceny after third go at the same house lawman from christy lawman from the christiana police have arrested and charged a 14 year old boy with housebreaking and larceny following an incident in cobbler district christiana in manchester on wednesday November the 17th. The allegations are that the juvenile prior opened the back door of a man's house twice and stole a total of 80,000 from the drawer. The juvenile then reportedly attempted to break into the third house, this time when he was allegedly caught in the hack. The police were summoned and he was taken into custody. He was charged after question and answer session was conducted in the presence of his parents and the lawyer. The boy is to appear in the poorest children court Tuesday, December the 7th. Some of you are so this a little youth here is a little 
thief, a little cook. Because you go into the man house two times of you as I'm a sub. And then the third time you yeah, try going at the man house again. So I'm a few as I'm a sub. I walk go on with that house as so. The man is a, a kind of businessman or one of them top man there or something make you decide for one lick the man house two three times. Some of you are some sub, leave your thoughts in your comments in the comment section. But now one you also make we know what you think. Gunman. Some of you are some sub. Gunman killed two Portmore men in St. Mary. The St. Mary police have launched a probe into the shooting deaths of two men by unknown assailants in Maru Hall, Islington, St. Mary and Sunday. The deceased are 34 year old Peter Finley and 35 year old Marvin Collins, both from Waterford in Portmore, St. Catherine. Reports are that Collins and Finley and four other people boarded a motor vehicle in Morur Hall about 12.30 a.m. Sunday before the vehicle drove off. Two armed men approached and opened gunfire in the directions of Colin and Finley who were seated in the front seat. The gunmen then fled the scene. The police were alerted and their arrival, the two men were found with gunshot wounds to the upper part and other sections of the body. The other occupants of the vehicle were unarmed. The wounded men were taken to hospital where they were pronounced. The police have yet to establish a motive for what happened. Some of you are some sub. What you think? You think said them brother yeah, do something a port more and run go cross over on the other side because you know, don't know the thing go already you know as you know, can see you know, the other day something similar to this go down where the man them go see him with small and there a brother and him friend them and mash them up some of you as I'm so about the thing this will be a for the same thing I could know what you think in the comment section Anybody from St. Mary who I watch, I could know what you think. Leave your thoughts in your comments in the comment section. I could know what you think. If you feel like say this is like a reprisal or one of them things that them two men are involved in a something and decide say yo them are gonna take with themselves and they take with them take with themselves and how them end up and run go over. St. Mary, because you know, you know from the year one, St. Mary is not a parish where too much violence. St. Mary is a cool parish, my viewers and my sub. St. Mary come like Portland, but St. Mary kind of hotter than Portland still, because Portland right now have the record of the lowest crime figure in a Jamaica. Some of viewers and my sub, caution, I could know what you think. So, until another one of yours, I'm a sub. Walk good, live good, bless up. I'm out.